This document, over which Chairman Comer is threatening to hold FBI Director Ray in contempt of Congress, chronicles unverified claims from an informant produced by Rudy Giuliani, which were so sketchy that Donald Trump's attorney general didn't trust them, and neither does Senator Grassley. So why doesn't the FBI want it out there? Well, the Bureau made a statement after Director Ray spoke with Chairman Comer yesterday, explaining that they're looking to protect sources as well as other aspects of their investigation. Quote, Director Ray offered to provide the committee's chairman and ranking member an opportunity to review information responsive to the subpoena in a secure manner to accommodate the committee while protecting the confidentiality and safety of sources and important investigative sensitivities. So if this 1023 form is just released, it becomes a fundamental change in FBI policy. It could lead to frivolous allegations being made public with an FBI seal attached for pure political gamesmanship, a point that even Sean Hannity raised to Chairman Comer last night. So we're going to start releasing all 1023s publicly. It, would that result in an invasion of privacy or the potential of making accusations against people that they have not fully corroborated? And why not take advantage of the FBI director's offer to see it in like a private skiff or whatever, you know, whatever area he deems secure? Well, to, to answer that question, Sean, he, he offered us the opportunity to come look at it in a private ship, but he, he was going to redact it. My experience with getting documents from the F FBI when they're redacted, well, there's very, it, it's all black lines. They don't show anything. First of all, good for Hannity. But second of all, so what? He's already seen it. <laughs> what does it matter if the FBI redacts it? The idea that he, that they, would threaten Director Christopher Wray, a lifelong Republican, with contempt of Congress over this, seems beyond bizarre. Joining me now is Denver Riggleman, former Republican congressman from Virginia and a former military intelligence officer. He's now an independent. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. All right, so does this seem as sort of abnormal to you as it does to me? Absolutely. I mean, there's three things, Dan, right? I was an intelligence officer. I think there's three things the FBI is worried about. Number one, they're worried about the people that are actually asking for the subpoena or pushing this are election deniers. You know, there's cross-pollination with the people that are running the Hunter Biden investigation and also running the Joe Biden investigation and the same individuals who believe the election was stolen and accepted data from bad sources like Rudy Giuliani. And that's the second point. The reason they don't want to release a 1023 with unverified data is because human intelligence needs to be validated. It needs to be verified. And if Rudy Giuliani is turning it over, this is the same guy who ran what? The, you know, the dozens of court cases about the stolen election. So my guess is they're really worried about the sourcing of this. The third thing, this is performative. Right now, the Oversight and Weaponization Committees have just dropped a big turd in the punch bowl with awful witnesses. They don't know what they're doing. They're sort of just, you know, stumbling around trying to make some types of connections. And as somebody who was formerly in Congress and also really I was on the, I was on the National Security Subcommittee for Financial Services, somebody who's been doing intelligence for 20 years and somebody who knows a little bit about these intelligence processes, Dan, I don't even know what to say right now, except that this is so unserious, it's almost dangerous. Well, I, I mean, the, the thing that, that really turned the corner for me, and I've, I've long been suspicious of this, is the fact that we now know that they've already seen this document. I mean, they're making it sound as if well, we, need to, we need to have it, we need to see it, we need to investigate it. If they've seen it already, they can investigate it now. Hey, Dan, they can. There's no, there's nothing stopping them. This is all about 2024. If, if right now I'm sitting in the Republican conference, right, and I know that I have nothing, right, I'm just, I'm grasping at straws on the Joe Hunter Biden con con connective tissue. You know what I'm doing? Well, we got to run some subpoenas out. How do we make it look like it's really bad and spooky? That is what they're doing. This is about either civil contempt, criminal contempt, or inherent contempt of Congress. It's about them trying to push this in some kind of messaging way for hyperbole, through fundraising, and also to try to have some other conspiracy theory that they can push to their base. That's all this is, it's bullshit. And I think that's what the American people are tired of, are people who cannot be serious in positions of power. And right now we do not have adults in the room doing what needs to be done for this country. And for me, it's enraging as somebody who's took an oath to the Constitution, not only as a congressman, but also as a military officer in the intelligence field. I just. It's stunning to me. They they can run this conversation. They can run this, Dan. 
they can run this right now. They can run this to ground, you know. And so I, I just don't get it. Do you think? Well, gonna, I, I do get it. Do, do you think? But, that, uh, do you, th do you, you know, think? It's just insane. Do you think? Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.